Hey, my name is Tim Buell. Today we're gonna to be talking about a bunch of gear that you can buy under $100 that is awesome and I think you should definitely check out. Last years, I've done a what's in my stick bag every year, and this is kind of a continuation of that. But these days as drummers, we're doing a lot of things, so it makes sense to talk about not just gear that's in your stick bag, but gear in general that you might find helpful for your workflow. But fear not, we are going to be talking about drums. So if you came here for drums, we're going to be talking about drums. But as well as drums, we're also gonna be talking about microphones, plugins, and some great software from the sponsor of today's video, Samply. More on that later, let's get into it. So the first piece of gear under $100 that I think every drummer should check out is the snare drum. Anytime I post a video on Instagram or YouTube featuring this drum, people go crazy. They're like, what snare drum is that? And what it is, is it's some kind of Ludwig student drum from the 70s, I think. You can find them on eBay for around $80 and they sound great. The drum I have actually has the original snare strainer, bottom head and top head from the 70s. It's made out of like weird corkboard material or something. Your mileage might vary, but for where it's tuned, it just kind of like does a cool thing. And for 80 bucks, I think it's definitely worth checking out. Next up on the list is this Shore Harmonica mic. It's called the Green Bullet. Uh, model number 520DX. I'm sneaking this in. These actually are run new around 140 bucks, but you can find them on Reverb and other places like eBay for $100. It sounds very unique because it is intended to be used for harmonica players. And it's kind of a mic that you can spend around 100 bucks and add it to your mic collection. And it'll do something that like none of your other mics will. So when I was using this mic a bunch, I was either running it through guitar pedals and doing kind of crazy effects with it, So it sounds kind of lo-fi and, you know, kind of like it doesn't have a lot of brightness up top. That's actually kind of cool because you get, you end up, when you put it in the right place, you get a lot of drums and body and mid-range of the drums, but you don't get a lot of cymbals and kind of harsh stuff. You can add this one mic as a room mic or some kind of like in the crotch position mic and it'll kind of fill out your overall drum sound. Next up on the list is the sponsor of today's video, Samply. Samply is a web app that has significantly improved my workflow when collaborating with producers and artists. So here's what no one told me about collaborating on any music musical thing remotely. Someone sends you a song and you get it into Pro Tools and you record drums to it. And then you wanna check with whoever the client is, uh, hey, do you like this? So you send them a Dropbox link. They get it, they download it, they listen to it. And then they send you an email back that has different notes of before the first chorus, do this, the bridge needs this and blah, blah, blah. And you decipher all these notes and you realize like, wait, are they referring to this part of it as the chorus or this part of it as the chorus? I'm not totally sure. Cause I thought this was a pre-chorus. And it's this whole chaotic mess of you you try and de decode what they're talking about with timestamps, but their timestamps don't line up with the bounce you sent them. It's a mess. And there's really no great solution for it until I started using Samply. Samply lets you upload a mix of whatever song you're working on and people can add comments it adds the comment exactly where they stop to write the comment. And then if you do another version of it, whether you're doing a mix or you're sending another take, you can upload that as a new version. It stays neatly in one project. They can look at it, give you more notes or say, hey, this is perfect. Thanks for making those tweaks. Go ahead and send the stems. Then you can upload a zip file right in Samply of the stems that you need to send them. All of it happens in Samply and none of it clutters up your inbox. There are projects I've worked on where myself and the producer and the artist, we've sent 
send a hundred emails to each other back and forth, and Samply kind of takes care of all of that. You can get started using Samply for free by just going to samply.app. They offer a few different plans with different storage and things like that. I really can't recommend this enough. The only reason I would ever do a sponsored video by a company is if I believe in them, and I believe in Samply because it has made my life so much easier. Piece of gear number four you can find for under $100 that I think every drummer should check out is Isotope RX Elements. This is a plug-in suite that Isotope makes that is absolutely incredible, and it has saved my life a countless amount of times. It does retail for around $150, but a lot of times you can find it on Sweetwater or like Black Friday and different holiday sales. You can find it for $90, bucks, and it is the best $90 you'll ever spend. What this suite of plugins does is it has a couple different tools that can repair audio. So they have a de-clip, a de-click, and my favorite is the vocal de-noise, which basically you can have it remove noise from vocals when you're doing maybe a podcast or when I'm filming videos like this, and maybe you have a fan, your air conditioning's running in the background and your computer fan's going. You can use this plugin to just kind of like magically somehow remove noise without destroying the vocal quality. Noise without destroying the vocal quality. Noise without destroying the vocal quality. But I use this plugin on everything. Sometimes when I record really quiet percussion parts, it has a lot of noise because of the preamp or whatever, and then you end up doing all these cool effects to make it sound like you want, but it ends up adding a lot of high-end kind of staticky noise, and you can actually just use this plugin to kind of just like magically get rid of it. I've used it on every podcast I've ever recorded, I've used it on every YouTube video I've ever put out, because there's always just a tiny bit of noise, and this plugin does an amazing job at transparently just kind of removing it. Piece of gear number five under $100 is this mouse. This is the Logitech MX Ergo mouse, and it's a weird little mouse that I couldn't recommend highly enough. I know it's weird to talk about mouses on drum gear lists. So the biggest reason I recommend checking this mouse out is because it's the most ergonomic mouse I've ever found. You know, the magic mouse that Mac makes is terrible. It hurts your wrist. It's not that awesome to use. And then just a standard mouse where you're dragging around. You know, when you're editing video, you're editing audio. Having to kind of click and drag and move your hand around, it, it just isn't the, the best in my opinion. And even worse is to me using a little trackpad and doing that whole thing. So with this mouse, you use the roller ball to kind of wheel around and then you click like normal. It's really, really comfortable. It does take some getting used to, but once you do, the added benefit is you can use it on any surface. You can put it on the arm of your couch and use it and it doesn't matter like because it's a roller ball and you're clicking. And something that we don't often talk about are things like the chair you're sitting in, the mouse you're using, the keyboard you're using, you're using those things more than maybe anything else in your studio. Just because you bought a $15 mouse off of Amazon a couple years ago and it still works, doesn't mean that it's not hurting your wrist, doesn't mean that there isn't a better way to live your life. So upgrade your mouse, it's amazing. And to close out this list of gear under 100 bucks I think everyone should check out, uh, I'm gonna kind of throw us off a little bit because I think you should buy a metal chain. This is straight up just like a six foot long metal chain from Home Depot. You can find them at any hardware store, but they are like one of the coolest things that you can have around your studio for interesting studio ideas. You can get cool, like ambient kind of slinky noises with it. You can do a kind of cool like lead up into a big chain drop backbeat thing with it. And you can also just put it on your snare drum. This is something I saw, I think Aaron Sterling do. You can put it on your snare drum and get a cool like sampled snare drum thing effect from it too. 